I believe I got cancer because I've heard the saying that God gives his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. And I honestly believe that I am one of his strongest soldiers, so he chose me. If I don't make it, I think my family, of course, will be super sad, but I also really hope that they understand that I might be in a better place and that I'll at least be happy and not be miserable going through all of this. Sometimes I think about how death would look like, like just walking up and like the pearly gates, it would be so beautiful and peaceful and nice and there would be nothing wrong <laughs> and it would just be beautiful and amazing. If I don't make it, I would want people to remember me as like the fun random dancing girl that is just fabulous and um, I don't want them to remember it as like, oh, she had cancer and she passed away. Like, just feel sad and bad about it. But yeah. When and if I'm no longer here, I would want like my family and friends to respond by, they can grieve for me, but I wouldn't want them to just think it's the end of the world. Yeah. Would you send signs to them? to let them know you're okay? Honestly, I've always like thought of me becoming like a little ghost and I would always like write notes on their windows or something saying Delaney was here. <laughs> At my funeral, I would want people to dress in bright colors and happy and have like a dance party because those are some of my favorite things. And I just want it to be like, oh, she lived a happy life. She was, she tried hard. And I don't want them to be like black and dark because that's not as fun. <laughs> I do have this favorite song that I want to play. It's called Way Back When. It's the credit song from the new Mr. Peabody and Sherman movie. And it's just like almost perfect. Have you thought about when you die and what you want to be buried in? Like what I would wear? Yeah, what would you wear? Oh. Or would you have your family pick it out? <laughs> I would probably for sure pick it out myself. But I would like to be buried in a big, poofy, pretty, sparkly dress. <laughs> yeah. What about like accessories? Ooh, and I would have a big, pretty, sparkly necklace that would match it. And of course, a really, really cute pair of shoes, even though you might not see them. And I would have earrings, like starfish earrings, because they're my favorite. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much all I would have. Anything on your head, like a headband or anything? I would have probably a really pretty flower headband because those are my thing. <laughs> oh, what color nails would you have? <gasps> oh, I would have aquamarine French tips. And then on my ring finger, I would have like a pretty design. <laughs> <laughs> and um, on your tombstone, or a grave marker, what do you want it to say? What can it say? Anything you want. Really? It's short. <laughs> it can't be like a paragraph, but it could be a few yeah. sentences, a few words. Um. Oh, on my tombstone, I would want it to say, here lies the most beautiful, fabulous dancing queen. And then your name below that? Yeah. Okay. But really small. Because I want them to see the beautiful paragraph, the sentence. <laughs>